Hi you guys. So today I have a review on the Bath and Body Works um, little hand sanitizers of the fall scents, all of these. Um, and I love, love, love these scents. Um, so I'm just going to get to it because I don't have very long. Um, so the first one is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And this is the only one that has a lotion, but they're not exactly the same, but they have a lotion, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, and this is like a lightly scented, like a spicy pumpkin, um, with maybe some cinnamon or something in it. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but it's not a, like, it's a very deep pumpkin. It's not lightly scented at all. It doesn't smell that good. Like, it's okay. The next one is Creamy Pumpkin. I love the little faded out white pumpkins. It looks like a gingered pumpkin. Like, it's so light. And maybe, it's like, this is such a lightly scented scent. has, I think, vanilla and ginger and caramel in it. Like, it's very light. It's almost like a latte, kind of. You, you definitely smell the brown, the sugar, the brown sugar, I think it is in there. No, you smell caramel, caramel cream. Um, you definitely smell caramel cream in here. Um, I almost smell some ginger, but the Bath and Body Works, so I didn't say it had ginger in it. And then the pumpkin caramel latte. Um, I never, I'm like, oh, do those exist? But then I realized when I thought about it. Starbucks do have pumpkin caramel lattes, and I'm going to go get one today after school, because I really want to try one. Cinnamon pumpkin, and then like a spiced ginger, kind of, and maybe a little bit of vanilla. Um, it's not a calming scent. It kind of gives me a little bit of a headache, um, but I do like the scent, but it, it's really fragrant. The next one is oatmeal. What is it? Cinnamon raisin cookie. The only thing I don't like about these is all the writing is in gold, and I have to like reflect it to see what it actually says. Um, and this is um, it has oatmeal on it. Um, that's what the Bath and Body Works website says. But the oatmeal popped out the most to me, and when I first put it on, it smells like oatmeal, and I don't like oatmeal. And I don't know anyone who wants to smell like oatmeal. So, um, this is not one of my favorites. But when you wait like 5 or 10 minutes, the scent fades off and it smells quite nicer. And I had I had cinnamon raisin cookies in the kitchen and I compared them uh, to my hand and the cookie and they smell very similar. <laughs> um, the next one is Orchid Leaves. Um, and these hand sanitizers are so cute because this one's... The actual hand sanitizer is purple, and this one's brown, and then these two are orange, and then this one's green. Um, like a hint of like apples and cider, like, you ever had cider in like the fall time? It smells just like cider, but with like a hint of like some kind of spice. Um, and it's very relaxing, like it lasts, that scent lasts a long time on your hands. And my next one that's my favorite is Cran Apple Crisp. Um, it's like a juicy blend of like cranberries and apples and some like brown sugar. Um, it's like a blend I think of um, what, what I smell in it is I smell um, apples and cranberries and some kind of sugar maybe like maple sugar or brown sugar. Um, but it's a very like vibrant scent, but it's relaxing, like, um, I think the sugar, the brown sugar in it, that it calms you down, like, it's just very, like, mellow, it's a mellow scent, um, I love this scent so much, I went to Bath and Body Works, and I bought this soap, and the only one that I didn't get in the little hand sanitizers was the caramel apple, because my store didn't have the, have the caramel apple, they had caramel apple in, um, soap, and I smelt it, and it didn't smell very good, it was a very bitter taste. It wasn't, wasn't good. Um, but, um, this is my review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, because I'm having a lot of trouble putting videos up right now, because I've been really busy with school, and 
now school's really starting to kick in and I'm getting lots of projects and lots of tests and lots of stuff going on. Um, but I will keep trying to put the videos up. I'll try I'll try to do one at least once a week, maybe two. Uh, I have a pro D day coming up. Um, two times in the next two weeks. Um and then I go for a surgery like at the end of October, so I probably won't have any videos up then. Um, but um, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you guys just stay patient and keep watching the videos.